Welcome back to Sentinels of the Multiverse. Uh, I think... I think everything has worked out just fine, just swell. Uh, I do need to work on enunciating my words a bit, but little bits here and there. I think that on this weekend, I'll be trying out a new game and see what's going on, but Sentinels of the Multiverse is going to be hopefully my bread and butter, because it's my favorite game. Right, let's get into this game. New game. What are we going to do? Well, I think we're going to continue the theme of taking a hero from last time, uh, Visionary, and fighting the nemesis of that villain, the Dreamer. Now, I said before, Visionary is a psychic from the future, and she came back to the past to correct the things of the past. Well, the Dreamer is the Visionary from back in the past. In fact, the Dreamer is the present version of her. Now, here's the trick with the Dreamer. The Dreamer is not a villain. Uh, we can, oh, uh, that's a lot of text, but take a look at her, and you can see she has six health. She should be easy, right? Um, here's the trick. If the Dreamer is reduced to zero or fewer HP, removed from the game, or otherwise destroyed, the heroes lose the game. You don't want her to die. In fact, she is a good guy. This is the visionary when she first got her psychic powers. She happened to be asleep at the time. And so her dreams are coming out, so you have to fight down her nightmares. Right, so, who is going to join us for this game? Uh, who is going to join us in helping Visionary fight back her past nightmares? Let's go ahead and bring in Unity. I said before, uh, she helped fix Omnitron X into Omnitron U. Unity is the um, the second uh, what's the term I'm looking for? The second um, not co-worker, uh, not secretary, um, intern. She is the second intern to the Freedom Five. Um, she has the power to destroy an equipment card. If you do, put a mechanical golem from your hand into play. Mechanical Golem is basically robot. Uh, she has a lot of robots in her in her deck. Uh, she has another power. She can hit herself for four to put a Golem into play. Um, we're going to go with the basic Unity. Just bot hack everything. Uh, right, who else are we going to get in here? Um, let's bring in... Uh, let's go ahead and bring in Captain Cosmic. Captain Cosmic, think of Captain Cosmic like Green Lantern, except yellow. Okay? Um, we can see him here in all his glory. Uh, I don't have any other variants unlocked. Uh, I will be um, off camera just uh, manually unlocking all the variants. Normally you're supposed to do some sort of story challenge to unlock them, but um, I'm just going to unlock them just cheat a little bit, just for the sake of the videos. Uh, right, his powers. Reveal the top card of your deck, put it into play or your hand. That's pretty cool. Um, who else are we going to bring in here? Uh, let's bring in Legacy again. We're going to put him second. Um, so that way we can... Did we use Legacy last time? No, we did not. I don't believe we used Legacy last time. So we're going to use him again. Uh, we're going to use his... Uh, uh, his gung-ho side, just to show off the third variant of him. So this is Grandpa Legacy. Alright, we already have four heroes. Let's get one more in here. Um, let's get... Uh, well, I believe we were, um, continuing a theme here. Uh, let's look at the, the villains for next time. Just a little sneak peek. Um, Citizen Don. I think we'll do Citizen Don next time. So, if that's the case, we should get expatriates. They are the nemesis. Nemesis? Nemesis? I'm not sure how, that's, how that works. Right. Uh, expatriate. She doesn't have any superpowers. She just has guns, and she has bullets. I believe we played her at one point, so we'll use her other variant here. The Dark Watch Expatriate. 
Right, so we have four, uh, five heroes. We have our villain. Let's see where we're going to fight. What looks like a good nightmare place to fight? How about... Uh, where did we fight last time? We I know for a fact we fought at Omnitron uh, 4. We fought at the city. And we fought... Let, let's do... Time Cataclysm. It makes sense. Visionaries going back in time to fight Visionary, so it makes sense that there would be a Pime Terrodox. Hey, Time Cataclysm it is. Let's start this fight. Oh, child. I am so sorry. We will set you free from your nightmares. Yeah, she doesn't speak because she's asleep. Right, onward. Let's start the game. She's going to get a bunch of nightmares out. Blah, blah. Oh, that's going to be the most obnoxious one. Well, maybe not. Actually, the whip point's the most obnoxious one. The ape is more not obnoxious in the tabletop version. Uh, right, let me explain what's going on. Let's open up the dreamer. At the start of her turn, if there are no projections in play, five ongoing, er, see, five hero ongoing cards are destroyed, and then she flips out. So that's how we flip her, is get rid of all of her, um, uh, nightmares. Uh, and since we cannot win on this side, obviously we have to flip her to win. Whenever the dreamer would be dealt damage by an environment card, the players may redirect it to the hero character card with the lowest HP. So instead of her taking the hit, someone else takes the hit. Right, how, what have we got here? We have the illusionary demon, which is acting right now. At the end of the villain turn, this card deals the non-villain target with the highest health, 5 infernal damage. When this card is destroyed, destroy a hero ongoing card. So he does a chunk of damage, but he's a little obnoxious to destroy because he takes something with him. What else we got? Granite Ami. Reduce damage dealt to this card by 1. So he's got shield of 1. At the end of the villain turn, this card deals the non-villain target with the lowest health to melee damage. So he's a bully. Treacherous 8. At the start of each hero's turn, this card deals the hero character card 2 energy damage. So that's why I was first kind of worried about him. Because on the tabletop version, you have to remember that yourself. And it's kind of a annoying to go to stop and go wait I was supposed to take a damage uh, when this card is destroyed destroy an equipment card dark hero increase damage dealt by villain targets by one reduce damage dealt by two projection cards by one so he is buffing the villains and the projections in general uh, whipacorn at the end of the villain turn this card deals the non villain target with the highest health three melee damage the target dealt damage to Sway cannot deal damage until the start of the next villain turn. So that's why this is actually the most obnoxious one in play right now, because he's going to turn someone off for a while. Why does he have a whip for a horn? For whipping! Uh, and another illusionary demon. Right. So, we can decide who's going to take the vibe. Let's let Grandpa Lexi... Oh, uh, right, Dark Hero. Okay. Uh, Lexi's going to take the hit. Grandpa only hits him. Whipacorn hits Dark Patriot or Expatriot. Expatriot can't deal damage. And Illusionary Demon hits Captain Cosmic. Next page. Okay, so what have we got here? Oh, yep, yeah, right. Treacherous Ape. Okay, so demoralization was great last time. But this time we don't want to play it. Because it will hit all targets. Including the Dreamer. And we don't want to hit the Dreamer because remember, if the Dreamer uh, dies, game over. She's innocent. So what else would we got? Uh, precognition. Now be on the top three cards of the villain deck. Put the one card on top of the villain deck and two on the bottom of the villain deck. So we can shuffle through her nightmares and kind of give her uh, sweet dreams. Psychic Maelstrom deals each non-hero target to psychic damage. We don't want that because we don't want to hit the dream. Twist the Ether. Play this card next to a target. Whenever that target would be dealt damage, the damage type changes to a type of your choice, and it's either reduced or increased by one of your choice. If the target leaves play, destroy this card. So that's a great way to buff or nerf someone, and this is a great way to scry through her deck. I think right now it's more important to scry through her deck, 
So, precognition. Uh, right. What have we got here? We already know what Dark Hero does. Grotesque Arachnid. At the end of the villain turn, this card deals the four non-villain targets with the highest health, two toxic damage each. So he spreads the love. Macabre Spectre. Ooh, spooky. At the end of the villain turn, this card deals every non-villain target two psychic damage. Whenever a target other than this card is destroyed, restore this card to its maximum HP. So, that would be obnoxious, but he's low enough health where it's not really all that bad. Um, let's put Makaz Spectre on the top, and let's put Dark Hero at the very bottom. So we don't have to worry about a buffer for a while. Visionary, we'll use her power. Um, let's use it on herself, because we know we don't need Demoralization or Psychic Maelstrom. Or Cerebral Hemorrhage, for that matter. Rest of the Mind might be good. Uh, let's get rid of Psychic Maelstrom, because that does worse. Not that it matters, we can always decide which card we play, but it's just good habit. We draw Mental Divergence. Grandpa Legacy's turn. Right, what has he got? He's got Danger Sense. The environment can't touch him. Fortitude. He's got Shield of One. Take down one of his pause buttons. I don't believe we read this one last time. Uh, at the end of your turn, the villain target with the highest HP deals Legacy 2 energy damage. Start of your turn, destroy this card. So, it stops her from playing more Nightmares. Which might be good. Uh, and we also have the Legacy Ring. Uh, Legacy can use an extra power. I think it is wise to take, take her down. So that way we can deal with what we have right now. Thin out the crowd before we get more drawing us. We'll use our power. Uh... Who do we want to use the power? We should not use it on Legacy because he only has the one power and he can't use it again. Visionary is just going to uh, draw two, discard one. What else have we got? Uh, Unity uh, can destroy an equipment card and then put a mechanical golem into play. She does have mechanical golems in, in her hand, but there aren't any equipment cards in play, so that's not going to be useful. Uh, we have Captain Cosmic. Just look at the top card of his deck, either play it or not. So, that's always a good option, if nothing else. Uh, and Dark Watch uh, Expatriate. In your turn, increase the next damage dealt by Expatriate by one, or increase damage dealt by Expatriate by one. So, we know that she's going to use Assault Rifle, because it'll do three targets, two projectile damage each. Actually, I'm sorry, I haven't read her cards, so we don't know that. Um, but yeah, that, uh, uh, so yes, she will do three targets, two damage each. If she used her power, it'd be three targets, three damage each. We would not want to play Submachine Gun, because it'd be each non-hero target, two. And remember, that includes her, and we don't want to hit her. So I think we're going to let Expatriate use the power to aim. Uh, Lexi will draw a card. Whipcorn. Oh, Whipcorn's the highest, so Whipcorn's the one dealing the damage. That makes sense. Treasure's eight attacks. And now, okay, so. Here is Unity. Here's the gimmick of her deck. She has these mechanical golems. She has these robots. This card cannot be played during your play phase. So these are cards that you have to play outside of your normal play phase. So that's the trick. Um, each robot does something different. In this case, this card is immune to cold damage. Whenever this card is dealt damage, it deals each non-hero target one cold damage. So we don't actually want to play Cryrobot, because we don't want to hit the Dreamer. So what else have we got? We have Hasty, excuse me, hasty Augmentation. One hero can use a power now. If that power deals damage, increase that damage by two. So we could... Use that on Expatriate to increase her damage by another one. What else have we got? Inspired Repair. You may draw a card. You may play a card. Each Mechanical Golem regains 3 health. Okay. It's a free card, but we would not get the extra benefit because we don't have any robots in play. What's the last card? Platform Bot. Uh, cannot be played. Reduce damage dealt to this card by 1. 
At the end of your turn, this card deals one target through the energy deck. Okay, so I think we're going to use Hasty Augmentation. We're going to augment Expatriate. Now we could use our power, but it's not going to do anything because there are no equipment cards in play. So we'll just skip that. We'll draw a card. And we go on to Co Captain Cosmic. He gets hit by the ape. Right. So here's Captain Cosmic's gift. These constructs. The um, the things that he spawns out. Uh, play this card next to your hero target. So he tags people with these different uh, constructs. The first time that target deals damage each turn, this card deals that target, or excuse me, this card deals one target to energy damage. So anytime you smack someone, the Autonomous uh, Blade will smack someone as well. Conservation of Energy. Destroy any number of Construct cards, either draw or play as many Construct cards, destroy this way, plus one. Uh, ca cosmic Weapon. Play this next to a Hero Captain card, that hero gains the following power. This hero deals one target, three energy damage. So if we want to give this to someone who's not dealing damage so that they can, that's great. It might be given to Unity so that way she has something to do when she can't spawn out a robot. Wounding Buffer. Uh, this is what I like to call Thorns. Um, basically, you put this next to someone, anytime that person gets hit, Thorns hits them back. So, I think we're going to give Unity that weapon. Give the Unity. Then we can use our power. Uh, a wounding buffer. We'll just put that into play. Uh, Legacy is going to be taking uh, some damage, so we'll put it in front of Legacy. We draw a card. Next turn. Treasure's Ape smack smacks us. Uh, if we this lightning bolt here, we can see all the effects currently in play. Uh, oh, I forgot. She can't deal damage, so we bu buffed her for no reason. Uh, that's egg on my face. Okay. Um, well, we are still going to put the assault rifle into play. Let's go ahead and just use our aim power, so that way we can keep at least one of those plus ones. We'll draw a card, and then the two of the plus ones are going to go away. We'll go on to the environment. Atlantean Throne Room. Reduce all damage by one. Uh, I'll read the rest of that text when we get to that. Um, yep, we can deal damage again. Take down, we, she doesn't play cards. Illusionary Demon smacks. Right, let me pause real quick. Atlantean Throne Room. Start of the environment turn, each player may draw a card. If none do, destroy this card. So, this might be useful to, to reduce their damage for a while, but it also reduces our damage. So we'll play that by ear. Granite Oni is going to smack someone with the lowest, which happens to be one of the two uh, constructs. Let's do it to the Wounding Buffer. Whippicorn is going to... Let's give it to Visionary, because Visionary does not deal damage for most of the time. So Visionary cannot deal damage. That's fine. It's much better than Expatriate. Unity takes a chunk of damage, and then we go on to the next turn. Uh, the Apes maxes again. We need to do something about that monkey. Uh, mental Divergence. Destroy an ongoing card, or take an ongoing card from a trash, and put it on top of the hero's deck. Let's rest the mine. We'll put it in front of the monkey, because the Treacherous Ape is going to be doing more damage than anything else right now, just by volume. We will use Visionary's power. We'll do it on herself. We'll draw two cards. We will get rid of demoralization. We'll draw a card. Now, the treacherous ape is going to attack, but we rested the monkey's mind. So, we can redirect the damage to someone else. Let's redirect it to the whippicorn because that's just obnoxious. Uh, rest of the mind also hits us, but we can't do damage to ourselves because of whippicorn. Uh, take the mine got uh, destroyed. So let's see what else we can do. Let us give ourselves a shield. 
gives us some fortitude. We'll use our power on Expatriate this time because she can do damage. We're actually doing it this time. We learned. Um, let's use her normal power, her uh, assault rifle because she already has a plus one. Let us hit the Whippercorn. The Grand. Uh, no, the Dark Hero. And let us hit the Granite on it. No, we can't because zero. Um, let's hit the Demon. We'll draw a card. Next turn. The Monkey tries to attack. We're going to have it hit the, uh, the Whippercorn. Uh, we tried her ourselves, but we can't. Right. Modular Workbench. Power. Discard a card. If you do, put a Mechanical Golem from hand into play. So, we can use this to play Mechanical Golems because that's on our power phase, not our play phase. So we'll play the, the Modular Workbench. We could use either one of these two powers, but I think we're going putting out a robot's more important. So we'll get rid of Cryrobot because we know we're not going to use him and play the other robot we have. We draw a card. Platform bot's going to hit someone. Let us hit the Whippicorn. We uh, go on to the next turn. Captain Cosmic, the monkey tries to hit someone. We'll have it hit the Whippicorn. This worked out pretty nice for us. Right, what have we have here? Um, sustained influence. Whenever a construct card is destroyed, you may destroy this card and put that construct back into play. So I think let's go ahead and play the autonomous blade and give it to someone we know for a fact is going to deal damage. We know for a fact Expatriate is going to be shooting a lot of guns. So let's give it to Expatriate. We'll use Captain Cosmic's power. Top card of our deck. Vitality Conduit. I like to call this my juice box. We sip it, we heal up. Play this card next to a target. Whenever this card is dealt damage, that target regains two health. We will put it into play, and Legacy here is kind of struggling, so we'll give it to him. Because he's healing other people a little bit here and there, it makes sense to give Legacy some healing back. We draw a card. Expatriate. The monkey tries to hit us. We'll have it hit the Whippicorn. Right, so, um, Black Jacket. If Expatriate would be dealt three or more damage from a single source, prevent all of it and destroy this card. Or Hollow Points, we could increase the damage of the gun's power by two. I think, because there's a lot of uh, nerfing involved, that might be a good idea. Let's see here. It'd be two, three, because we buffed ourselves, or four, because we buffed ourselves by two, right? No, we buffed ourselves by one, so it'd be three. So, um, it'd be minus one, two, minus another one, one. So we would be doing three targets, one damage each. So we could kill the Whippicorn, we could do... Okay, so we don't need the hollow points yet. So let's go ahead and give ourselves the Black Jacket. We'll use the Assault Rifle, and we will hit the Whippicorn. We will hit the Dark Hero. Oh, no, 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 no. I made a mistake. Let's go, meanwhile. Use a power. Okay, so we are going to hit the Whipper card. That, that much for sure. So why cannot, why can we not hit the Dark Hero? It'd be... Oh, because this is the one doing the damage. So, um, it does not matter who we hit, because it's going, it's still not going to be enough no matter what. So that's fine. Now we'll hit the Dark Hero. And the third one, let's go ahead and give it to the Illusionary Demon. We draw a card. We go on to the next turn. Um, I think it is... We are able to get over the nerf, and it's helping us prevent their damage, so it's worth it. 
So I will say yes, everyone's going to draw a card. So I'll say choose for me because we're all going to draw a card, it's just not matter the order. The environment plays, filter spy. At the end of the environment turn, this card deals the non-agent target with the second highest HP for toxic damage. So there are three targets that are equally the second highest, so we can decide. I think we will give it to Captain Cosmic. We go on to the next turn. Dreamer, the Macabre Spectre. The Illusionary Demon 565. Nothing because of our flak jacket. Granite only kills our wounding buffer. Now this demon's going to hit us for sure because we, we lost our flak jacket. Uh, the Macabre Spectre is going to hit all targets. So, uh, let's see if it matters the order. We don't have any thorns. Okay, so it does not matter. Oh, no, it, it, no, it does not matter the order because we'll hit the Vitality Conduit and Legacy, so Legacy will lose health and then regain health. So it doesn't matter the order. Let's say choose for me. Lots of, lots of wind blowing here. Right, so, oh, the monkey. Um, so here we can say stop, we're done using this power because every time we use it, she hits herself. We've been avoiding that because of Whippicorn, but now Whippicorn is gone. So I'm going to say, um, let's stop and just take the two damage instead of the more damage. So what have we got here? Uh, three targets, two psychic damage each, which would be nothing because the, the Dark Hero and the Atlantean Throne are. Mass Levitation. Uh, we could reduce damage dealt by the environment cards by three as a power. That might be useful. What else have we got? Uh, deals one target three psychic damage. We could hit the the, uh, the, the, the dark hero. Uh, Telekinetic cocoon. Uh, I believe you saw this last time. We're not going to read that again. Um, right. I think it's now time to do something about that monkey. So let's twist the monkey's ether. Treacherous ape. We're now going to use our power on ourselves. Visionary. We'll draw two cards. And we do not need... Oh, uh, I'm thinking we have a hit everyone, but we don't. I remember just now. Let's hit... Let's get rid of this because we don't need it, and then we'll use this power on someone else from now on. We could go back, but it's... It's... It's fine. So, twist the ether. We can choose the damage type. It does not matter. And we're going to reduce it by one. So... Three, or two, lots of math going on here. Oh, he took nothing because of his fortitude. Nice. So, we're going to play Motivational Charge. We're going to use the power because we want to hit someone. Uh, actually, we won't be able to hit someone, but we will hit heal everyone for one. Is that worth it? I don't think so, because we're not going to be doing the damage. So that's half the power not working. Okay, we'll use Lexi's power. We will use it on Expatriate. Let's use her Assault Rifle. Wait, no, let's use her Aim. So that way next time she can use her Assault Rifle. Grandpa Lexi draws a card. Unity is going to take, I believe, one at the end of all the math. Oh, uh, oh, we get a choice, okay, so skip. Yep, one damage. Okay, so we have Raptor Bomb. This card can... Okay, for all the golems, just assume this text is in play because it is. At the end of your turn, this card deals one target X melee damage, where X is the number of mechanical golems in play plus one. So the more friends he has, the more he attacks. Okay, so let's go ahead and play Inspired Repair because we have a robot in play that's hurt. We draw a card... We can play a card. Let's play Brainstorm. We draw 
Oh, uh, how rude of me. Okay, we draw two cards and deal three targets, one lightning damage each. So we are not going to be able to do the damage because zero. We could hit the... No, we can't, because it's still one. So we're going to stop. We won't waste our time. So, draw a card, play a card, heal them, draw extra cards. Uh, turret five. This card, uh, at the start of your turn, this card deals one target, three projectile damage. And volatile parts. Whenever a mechanical golem is destroyed, the unit deals the non-hero target with the lowest health to fire damage. So that might be good. But it also might not, because there might be a dream somewhere that has more than six. So we might want to be careful about volatile parts around children, especially sleeping children. Alright, let's use our modular workbench. Let's get rid of the volatile parts. And let's play Platform Bot. We'll draw a card. We can hit someone for three, and we can do that twice because we have two of the same card. Let's just focus on the Dark Hero. Captain Cosmic. The monkey's going to hit us. Uh, reduced by one. We're going to say skip. Right. What do we have here? Um, Energy Racer. Play this next to a hero character card. Reduce damage dealt to that hero character card by one. And that might, might be very nice, especially with that monkey around. Um, I think we should play Sustained Influence. So that way if something gets destroyed, we can put it back. We'll use Captain Cosmic's power. Augmented Ally. At the start of, Play this card next to a hero character card. At the start of the hero's turn, that player may discard a card. If they do, they may use a power immediately. So someone can use multiple powers. Okay, we are definitely going to put that into play. Let's put it next to Expatriate, because she is going to be the one with multiple powers. Yes, Unity has multiple powers herself, but one of them is really a backup, and the other one is just upgraded by the third one. Uh, Legacy has two powers, but he has his ring, so he's going to take care of that himself. Uh, Captain Cosmic usually only has one uh, sometimes two powers, but that's kind of rare. And Visionary only has the one power that's worth it at any given time. So let's do Expatriate so she can shoot more guns. Captain Cosmic draws a card. The monkey is going to attack us. Uh, reduce by one. We're going to say skip. Augmented uh, uh, ally, we can discard a card. What have we got? Um, assault Rifle, Hollow Points, Liquid Nitrogen Rounds. Change the damage type to Colt. After the card's power is used to damage a target, reduce the t damage dealt by the target by one until the start of your next turn. So it deals cold and it nerfs them. RPG Launcher, destroy an ongoing or environment card, and deals two targets, two fire damage each. Okay, uh, let's get rid of the submachine gun because we're not ever going to use that because we don't want to hurt the child. We can use a power. Let's use our aim. And then we can play a card. Let's go ahead and use, what's our bet damage bonus? One, two. So this would be doing four, three, two. Okay, so yes, it's worth it. Let's do RPG launcher. Get rid of filter spy. We will hit the Dark Hero first. And then we will hit the monkey. Oh, uh, the Atomic Blade. So let's go ahead and focus on the demon with the blade. Then we'll hit the monkey with the RPG launcher. Uh, they're both destroyed, it doesn't matter the order. Uh, the monkey destroys something. Let's get rid of the modular workbench because we're going to use our assault rifle right now. Like, right now. Uh, it's three targets for two. So let's hit the... Oh, uh... Three total. Okay. So let's hit the demon. Let's... Oh, he destroys a card. Let's get rid of... 
fortitude, because he's only a shield of blood. Uh, the second one won't hit the, the bully. And then the third one, let's go ahead and just get rid of the Spectre just so we don't have to worry about it. We draw a card. We lose one of our uh, buffs. Next turn. Uh, choose for me because the damage, uh, the nerf uh, is worth it. We'll all draw a card. Environment. Crushing the hallway. Um, give me a second. Okay. At the end of the environment turn, one player may discard their hand to destroy this card. At the start of the environment turn, deal each target four melee damage and destroy all hero ongoing cards. So, we could let someone discard their hand. Does anyone have a not very impressive hand? No. So we're going to skip that. I believe... Do we have something to get rid of uh, environment cards? We had that RPG launcher, but we just used it. No. And it's not worth it to let the um, to let the dreamer take four damage. Okay, so someone has to discard their hand. Okay, so let's weigh this out. We spent all this time working on the visionary's hand. Uh, legacy is slow to play. Plus, he needs that bright legacy ring if nothing else. She has a construction pylon, which. Um, Let's her play two robots for free. So we, so that's three cards that she could use right there. So it's not worth it. Um, I'm thinking, even though he has good cards in his hand, he can just get cards out of his deck. So let's do Captain Cosmos. To get rid of Crushing Hallway. It was not an easy choice, but it was a choice that had to be made. The Dreamer plays. Projected Paralysis. Oh! Captain Cosmic cannot play cards, but that's okay because he doesn't have any cards in play. Or in his hand. So that worked out nicely. Uh, the bully's going to smack someone. Let's hit the juice box. Which heals Legacy. Next turn. Right. Um, pro uh, decoy projection. Whenever Visionary would be dealt damage, redirect it to the decoy. No, it does not work. If you hit the Dreamer, it gets redirected to the projection because it's... Uh, While well, it's technically the Visionary, it's not the Visionary yet. She's still Dreamer. Um... I think... We should... Uh, oh, and suggestion. Grab two cards from the villain trash, put one on top, one on bottom. Not really worth it in this case. Uh... Does two target, three targets, two psychic damage. I think let's mind spike. It's either okay. It's either mind spike to do damage or decoy to prevent damage from being taken. Um, let's do mind spike because I don't because he's going to hit the highest and he hits the lowest. Visionary is nine, so let's hit the illusionary demon because he's going to be. Yes, he's not the bully, but he's doing a lot of damage. Visionary. Let's let Captain Cosmic drop to discard one to try and start rebuilding his hand. Uh, construct Cataclysm. Destroy all Construct cards, and we can see here, here there are four. Captain Cosmic either deals one target X irreducible, da da irreducible energy damage, or deals up to X targets three energy damage, where X is this number. So that's a nice card. What else have we got? Destructive Response. The first time a Construct card is destroyed each turn, Captain Cosmic may deal up to three targets, one energy damage each. Okay, so I think we're going to discard this card. Yes, that other one deals one, but we'll get rid of the Enlantean Throne Room so we can start using that. Great, Legacy's turn. Legacy is going to get his ring. So that he can use two powers. Motivation will charge. He will hit the demon. Oh, 
yes, it heals all the robots too. And the blade, uh, the robots and the constructs. So we'll use Legsy's power to use Dark Watch's power to buff her. We go on to the next turn. Smashing. Right. So let's read this carefully. Put two power. Put two mechanical golems from your hand into play and destroy this card. So yes, it's worth it to play this card. You play it. We'll use that power. Turret bot and Raptor bot. We draw a card. Uh, let's hit the demon. Um, let's get rid of sustained influence. We'll hit the Oni, and then the Raptor bot is going to do, uh, it's going to take care of the Oni. Just, it's like Granola. Right, cannot play cards, that's fine. Um, uh, let's go ahead and use the power. We could skip it to draw more cards, but he's going to be fine playing cards out of his deck for a while. Um, oh, unflagging animation. At the end of your turn, Captain Cosmic deals himself one irreducible psychic damage. At the start of your turn, you can move the Construct card from your trash into play. So anything that's been lost, we get back. So yes, we're going to put that into play. We draw a card. We hit ourselves for one because of the um, lagging animation. Right, we can discard a card to use an extra power. I think... We will discard Assault Rifle because we already have one in play. We will use Aim. We're then going to play Pride. And we'll use Assault... Oh no! Okay, let's go back because we don't want to shoot anyone. So let's go back to the start of our turn. Okay, so we know we're not going to shoot anyone. So it's actually a bad idea to use extra power. So we're going to skip. We will then still play Pride, and we're still going to aim, but we're not going to shoot a gun because there's no one that we want to hit right now. Oh look, more discard fodder. The environment. Uh, we're going to say skip, because we're done with that That was useful, no longer. Tendrils of men. Oh, that's not good. Okay, it's going to Unity. Okay, uh, for a second I thought it was going to go to Dreamer. Okay, so I'll explain what that did. Uh, it's kind of annoying, but it's not uh, all that bad. Okay, so let's go to Meanwhile. At the end of the environment turn, this card deals the target with the highest health, one infernal damage. Increase damage dealt by that target by one until the start of the environment turn. So it hit Unity, and Unity is going to be doing extra damage. Except she doesn't do damage. It's her robots that do damage. So that does nothing but hurt her. Uh, the Dreamer, because she does not have any Nightmares in play, she's going to destroy three ongoing cards. There's only two in play, so it destroys both of them. She flips out, and she's going to be playing a bunch of, or she's going to be, I thought she was going to be playing a bunch of min, uh, minions. So, she, she is roused from slumber. We woke her up. Whenever a projection card is destroyed, it is placed under this card. At the start of the villain turn, if there are 10 cards under this card, the heroes win the game. So, beat on more nightmares. That's how we win. Uh, whenever the dreamer would be hit by the environment, we can redirect it. Whenever the dreamer is reduced to zero or less health, she, we lose the game. At the end of the villain turn, the dreamer deals every non-villain target three psychic damage. Then the top three cards of the villain deck are played. Okay, so that's at the end of her turn. I thought it was when she flips. Okay, so she's going to smack someone, or she's going to smack everyone. Okay, so um, I don't think it matters the order, because, yeah, I'll show you. It hits the Vitality Conduit. The juice box is destroyed before it can heal Legacy. So that's why that does not matter. Um, it does not matter the order, so we'll just choose from a fast forward through it all. Um, monkey 
the night oh night terrors. The dreamer deals each non-villain target X psychic damage, where X is number of projections in play plus one. So there are two dreams, so two plus one is three. Again, it does not matter the order, so choose for me. Yeah, and then she continues playing cards. Tooth Fairy. At the end of the villain turn, every player discards a card. When this card deals any character card, uh, then, okay, first it makes everyone discard a card. Then anyone who does not have any cards in play takes four toxic damage. It does not matter the order, Captain Cosmic is going to do, uh, to take the, to uh, toxic damage because he only has the one card. Oh, and so is, well that's in play. Um, never mind, that's the hand. So, the yellow thing is the hand, the red is what's in play, and the, the, the POW is their health. Right, so Visionary has to discard a card. Um, let's get rid of Suggestion because we're not going to use it. Legacy discards a card. Let's get rid of uh, Danger Sense. Unity discards a card. Uh, scrap Metal, just so you know what it does. At the end of your turn, either take a Mechanical Golem and play back to your hand, or destroy this card. At the start of your turn, you can play a card if you do destroy this card. So it lets you play extra cards at the start, which could be a robot. Since you have to discard something for it, it's we are already doing that with our power. Let's get rid of the scrap. I mean, it's literally just scrap. Uh, we were going to play Dynamic Response, but Dynamic Saf uh, Siphon is also good. Whenever this card is dealt damage, the hero that this is attached to use, can use a power. That's much more useful than the destructive response, especially since all our stuff already got destroyed before we could play it. Uh, Expatriate, uh, we'll have her get rid of nitrogen rounds because we can reload and get it back. Oh no, submachine gun, because we don't need submachine gun. Uh, Whip a coin is going to make someone not deal damage. Uh, let's do unity because unity doesn't deal damage, her robots do. Next turn. Okay. Oh, the monkey. I forgot he came back. Okay, um... Right, let's give us a shield. And we'll use Visionary on Captain Cosmic. They'll draw two. And discard one. So what does he got? Oh, Conservation of Energy. We already know what that does. Potent Disruption. Destroyed a Construct card. If you do, Captain Cosmic deals one target. Energy damage equal to the health of the Construct. Let's get rid of Conservation of Energy because we need to build back up. Hey, discard fodder. Uh, the monkey is going to hit us. Right, so I think we should be... Okay, Lexi is worse for wear, but that's everyone. Um, oh, Flying Smash. Yes, let us... Okay, let us play Surge of Strength first. So that way, whatever damage we do is plus one. So next time when we do Flying Smash, it'll be plus one. We use our power. We're going to do the same trick again. Uh, she's going to aim. Lexi draws. Oh, yay! Motivational charge game. Uh, start of our turn. We're going to use turret bot to hit the monkey so the monkey doesn't hit us. Uh, the monkey has to destroy a card. Um, let's get rid of Assault Rifle because we can get another gun. Ignore that. I forgot to log off Steam. Uh, let's wait for that to go away. I apologize. Uh, okay. Um, okay. Let's use... Actually... Yes. Let us use HD Augmentation. We'll use it on Expatriate. Expatriate will shoot Pride. She will shoot the two... Oh, for a lot of damage. Okay, let's bring the Whippicorn down if we're doing that much. Uh, Unity can destroy an equipment card. Are there any equipment cards in play? Because it doesn't have to be her own. Just the ring and pride, which are not worth it. It's not worth discarding my pride to play more robots that we don't even have. I just re realized. So we draw a ca uh, card. And we go on to Captain Cosmic. We're going to play Captain Cosmic. Let's use it on Expatriate so she can shooty shooty bang bang. Ashley, go back, play a card. We will use it on Legacy so we can use Legacy's power 
to let Expatriate use her power and heal her. We'll reveal the top card of our deck. Oh, this is an no brainer. Reveal the top three cards of your deck. Captain Cosmic deals one target X energy damage, where X is whatever constructs revealed times two. Uh, again, ignore that. That's a friend. Um, and then discarded cards revealed this way. So we'll put that into play. We're going to do four damage. Let's just get rid of the Tooth Fairy. Tooth Fairy and Whippicorn are the most obnoxious nightmares. Because they, they disable your options. So they're not any fun. Right. Pry, how much damage are you doing? Uh, one, two, two card, uh, two damage. Okay. So let us give ourselves another assault rifle because we lost our first one. Um, we'll use the, uh, yes, we'll use the assault rifle. We'll hit the whippicorn. We'll hit the tendrils. And then we will stop right there because we don't want to hit the dreamer. We unload. Okay, so unloads a power, uh, a card that we drew. Next turn. Yep, got rid of that effect. Oppressive smog. Um. Okay, that's a little obnoxious. Hopefully, we get a pause here so I can explain why. Again? Okay. Uh, oppressive smog. Reduce all HP recovery by one. At the start of the environment turn, a player can discard one card to get rid of this card. Okay. Um, dynamic siphon first. To let Legacy use a power. Well, that expatriate uh, use a power. She can't gain any HP, but can sh she can still shoot. Uh, two, two. It doesn't matter which one. We'll just do it because of less options of us. Da 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 da. Tooth Fairy is still going to hit people, so we'll hit uh, Visionary, which redirects it to the decoy. Now it does not matter the order, so we'll just hit Toy Master. Uh, who, okay, Projective Paralysis makes someone can uh, make sure someone cannot play cards. Um, Expatriate is going to be playing her bullets next to her card. Legacy is going to be playing Motivational Charge again. Uh, motivational Charge is not that important because we're not healing. So we'll say Legacy. And, oh, Violent Nightmares. Um, Violent Nightmares. Reveal cards from the top of the villain deck until three projection cards are revealed. Put them into play. Discard the other revealed cards. Shuffle the villain trash into the villain deck. So. Gives us lots of nightmares to, to hit, but also gives us lots of nightmares to hit us. Uh, choose for me because the order does not matter. Uh, demoralization because we're not going to play that card. Uh, we will say superhuman durability because we're reckless like that sometimes. We have to discard that one card. Um, potent disruption because we. We are still trying to build up, so we're not going to destroy something. Uh, unload, because this requires us to have a lot more guns. Uh, we... Oh, Unity just died. Uh, there... Okay, so everyone's going to hit, get hit equally, so we'll just hit everyone. Macabre Spectre. Um, it's everyone, so it just choose for me. There goes him. There goes him. Right, so what does Toy Master do? We've got two of them. Start of the villain turn. This card deals the non-villain target with the highest health, X Psychic Damage, where X is number of equipment plus one. So, what can we do? Um, we could... Cerebral Hemorrhage to just do mass damage. Uh... I don't think it's worth putting the decoy, because she's only got one health, there's no saving her. So let's just do as much as we can. Tooth Fairy. Uh, doesn't matter the order. Uh, the Toy Master. And the other Toy Master. She'll use a power. 
she let's use it on XP trick she has a little bit more survivability not much but some uh, shock rounds is going to hit every non hero target if we use it so we'll get rid of that because we don't want to hit the dream okay so grandpa Lexi has defeated options let's see his defeated pitcher uh, right so we can let someone use a power, we can let someone draw a card, or discard the top card of a deck. Let's let X Patriot use a power. Let's let her use Assault Rifle. Hit the Toy Master. Hit the other Toy Master. And hit the Grotesque Director. Unity. Uh, the, the, uh, she's put in a plastic uh, square because she can control metal. She can't control plastic. Right, so, meanwhile, um, someone can draw a card, someone can play a card, or we can let someone heal. Um, two health is not going to get over their damage, so playing a card is more valuable. Let's let Expatriate play the card. We'll let her play Hollow Point Rounds. We'll put it next to Pride. We're going to do what we can to increase pride. Uh, play a card, use a power, or reduce damage dealt by one. Let us... Oh, uh, meanwhile, let's look at the pitcher. Th uh, that's a giant cosmic hand. That is Captain Cosmic right there. Right, so we'll use Expatriate Power. We'll use Assault Rifle. Get rid of the Toy Master. Uh, doesn't matter the order. Get rid of the other Toy Master. Again, does not matter the order. Uh, and get rid of the, the Spider. Right. Um, let's, let's look at what cards we have in our trash. Do we have any... We have one bullet, but it's going to hit everyone, which we don't want to do. Um, let us do the Hair Trigger Reflexes. So we can hopefully shoot whatever... Um, dreams come out. We'll use Assault Rifle. Uh, we'll hit the, the Spider again. We'll hit the Macabre Spectre. And we're going to stop dealing damage. We draw a card. So hopefully we can pull something out of a hat. Uh, let's let Visionary discard a card because we know we have Rain Bear and we're not going to use it. So we can heal again. Oh boy. Okay, we lost this one. Surprise shopping trip. Anytime a card is put into play, all targets take one damage. Dreamer plays a card. Uh, it doesn't matter the order. Yes, we're going to shoot him. And then we'll hit the Macabre Spectre. Uh, and then from here on out, it does not matter. Visionary is lost. We lost her. Oh! Yes, we want to redirect her from Visionary. Yeah, we lost. Okay, well... Uh, 3 out of 5 isn't bad, right? Um, so... I think... We are going to do what I said last time, uh, and that is we're going to use um, Expatriate to fight Citizen Dawn. Um, just so you, to, to pump up the interest, Citizen Dawn is Expatriate's mother. And what's even more, Citizen Dawn has powers Expatriate does not. What could cause Citizen Dawn to be a villain? Find out next time in Sentinels of the Multiverse.